Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about what role race might play in knee replacement surgery and your knee replacement journey. Hey everyone, so with everything going on in our country today with um, a lot of talks about racism, about systemic racism, cultural racism, um, a lot of activism out there, a lot of things going on, I just thought it was really would be worthwhile to take a look at what is in the research, what is in the literature about race and about um, ethnicity and background and if it plays any role or if there's any disparities or differences or things um, compared to people of different races and people of different ethnicities and their knee replacement journey, their outcomes, the surgery itself, um, their expectations, their um, satisfaction, all of these things. So a couple of interesting studies I found. Um, one of them was what they found was that at baseline, so in the normal population of people they looked at, comparing black individuals and white individuals, they found that there was actually more, a higher prevalence of knee pain, uh, decreased function, and osteoarthritis of the knee based on x-ray imaging. There was a higher percentage of this in the black individuals that they studied compared to the white individuals. And what they found though was that there was a much lower rate of black individuals who received and got had knee replacement surgery compared to white individuals. And they kind of delved into this and tried to figure out why if there's more prevalence it seems of osteoarthritis and knee pain and decreased function, why is there res less rates of knee replacement surgery? And one of the hypotheses was that it's um, due to um, socioeconomics, due to the having the ability to um, afford it, having the ability to um, have insurance coverage, whatever that may be. Now, they actually kind of try to control for these variables, variables. And in one study, they said that this finding was not changed or any different when they controlled for geographic location, when they controlled for education levels, and when they controlled for income levels. So even controlling for these variables of geography, geographic location, income, and education levels, there still is this disparity between black individuals and white individuals about much more, um, much less of the black community s seems to be having knee replacement surgery, at least um, speaking proportionately. And so some of the different hypotheses are out there, um, but so th some other studies found some other findings. So one finding found that the um, there was an increased rate of readmissions after knee replacement surgery, so readmissions to the hospital. There was an increased rate of infection in one study. They also found increased risk of pulmonary embolisms or blood clots in the lungs. And they also found an increased rate of the black individual studied needing knee revision surgery. So there obviously are these disparities between the black group and the white group when it comes to knee replacement surgery. Um, there's this very possible and very potentially um, difference in the amount of infections, the amount of severity of the um, recovery and the intensiveness of the recovery after surgery um, and the rate of complications, infections, and things as well. So I don't know why this is. Um, obviously, there's probably a bunch of different hypotheses and possibilities. Um, one possibility that was um, provided by an author was that possibly individuals who are black have less potential to um, take that time off of work. So obviously after knee replacement surgery, you're off of work for a number of weeks as you recover and go to physical therapy and things. 
possibly that's something that the white individuals are more able to do compared to individuals in the black community that was studied. So obviously these disparities exist. Um, is it there a particular reason? Is it something that is a consequence of um, more st systemic issues in terms of um, disparities and inequalities between whites and blacks, between um, ethnic and racial minorities and whites? Um, I don't know the answer to that, obviously. And I am being very careful to tread lightly because I'm not by any means an expert in anything related to this topic, but I do find it um, unfortunate that this disparity does exist. You know, obviously there's people who have knee pain, who have arthritis, and obviously this is just one little piece of a tremendous puzzle that um, a lot of things, but you know, there's people who need this access to health care and if that's a knee replacement or if that's something else we obviously want them to be able to have that access to have decreased pain have improved function have improved quality of life and i think it's imperative as a physical therapist and as a citizen in general to kind of look deeper and dig deeper into why this disparity exists in healthcare, in the healthcare system um related to knee replacement, but related to healthcare in general, and to dig deeper and to start to look at and find solutions. So um, I don't have any answers. I don't have any solutions right now. I'm just trying to kind of shed a little light on this, um, trying to continue the discussion. You know, that's something that we always, you know, that you hear a lot on the news and in the with the individuals through social media these days is start that discussion, continue that discussion and, um, you know, hold yourself accountable and hold others accountable. So I think this is a good first step. I'd love to learn more why this disparity exists and how we can address it is of course the main goal so that the individuals who need the healthcare and the individuals who need a knee replacement or need physical therapy or need whatever it may be that they're able to get that care and service that they need and get it effectively and at the same level as other individuals as the white community and um i probably many people who can speak on this much more elegant elegantly than i can but just kind of wanted to start a conversation with that i'd love to hear any comments or feedback that um anyone watching has i'd love to hear what you have to say and we can have a discussion about it but with everything going on, I thought this would be a good topic for one of my videos this week, and um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been the Need to Know Show. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll be on tomorrow with another video.